do we feel like the Joker was overhyped? Let's 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 speak on this. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I think that's a really well. Okay, so what do you mean by overhyped? Like, I mean, in sense of like, you can almost argue in any aspect. Like, do we feel like the praise of it? Like, do we feel like it deserves the praise it's getting in terms of it being this contemporary deep movie that t- tackles an issue that we don't see every now and then, and then now it's making about like it. It made it did better in the box office box office than Avengers did in its first. Um, first month, and we're talking about Endgame, which is the most anticipated yeah. movie of all time. And you mean as far as profits? Like it made more profits in its first month than Endgame yes. made. I think that there's kind of two discussions to be had there. Mm-hmm. There's the cultural um, like discussion that's going around the movie, and then there's the financial box office results. Um, as far as like the cultural stuff. It's interesting because there's almost like two sides where I feel like the movie for the most part is like, if this is your kind of movie, then you'll, you'll love it. And like, you'll, you'll be into it. But then there's also like, I I, I saw some reviews that were like not too hyped on it that they were like, I mean, it's cool, but not that great. And then there were even some, um, people that were like oh nobody should see this movie at all like it was that, like, that extreme like this movie I mean, is those, bad for society those were just like the alarmists the people who are kind of like scared that something would happen yeah yeah i think so i think so too but yeah you have that those two things going on so maybe maybe like part of like what we're calling overhype is like a reaction to that is like Okay, well, if you're going to say that nobody should see this movie, then we're going to go extra and be like, everyone should see this movie. It's the best movie <laughs> do, do ever Do you think made. that's what caused it to, to get more, like, attention? I mean, probably. <laughs> <laughs> I think that the, the, the results speak for themselves. Like, um, the Joker... Okay, so, I don't know. I It's hard for me to say that the Joker is overhyped because I really love the movie. <laughs> like, I think it's... I, I saw it... And I was like, you blown saw it twice. I saw it twice and I was blown away just off of the performance of Joaquin Phoenix alone. Like that movie, it's like, that's one of the best performances on screen, in my opinion, like up there with, with like Daniel Day Lewis and people like that, like that, that was a fantastic performance to watch for, for two hours. So on that level alone, I think that it's a, it's definitely a movie that deserves all the accolades that it's getting. And as, as far as like that, like is the movie overhyped? I really, I don't, I don't think so necessarily. I think that there's a thing to be said about the idea that, um, it's not like this is something that we've never seen before. I think that like, this is definitely a movie we've seen before. It's just with a superhero skin on it. Um, I was going to say, Okay, this is a very conflicting movie because, like, on one hand, because I'm a DC fan, I do love that they're taking this angle of Joker. I do like that they're going... um, I like that it's getting the praise that it's getting, and it's going to, for future comic book movies now, especially since it's doing better than Endgame. Yeah, it's doing well, so it sort of, like, sets a precedence for, like, future movies that, yes, you can... Make a superhero movie that's different than the usual formula. Mm-hmm. Exactly. And that's what I like about it. So that, that's, that's one hand I like that. On the other hand, in terms of the movie aspect, I kind of will have to say after watching it a second time, because the first time I really did loved it. The second time, I kind of see where it kind of, I guess I can see where people can say it's a little overhyped. And I kind of agree with it just because I did feel like they touched on a lot of themes, but they didn't do anything the only thing different in it was just that Joker was experiencing it. So I wish that for a movie to be getting the praise that it's getting and touch these themes, but just to kind of like, oh yeah, you know, rich, poor people get treated bad by the rich. It's like, we've seen that theme before, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So I do feel like, and that sense of that, and then even the reaction towards it where people are like, you can't watch this movie. It's like, <laughs> like it's even funny because I forgot the movie was rated R. It didn't feel like a rated R movie to me, to be honest. Like it felt, to be honest, it felt like a PG thirteen. There was nothing in this movie that made me really get like, 
uncomfortable. Maybe maybe there was a point with the mom. I would but like the stabbing. The stabbing? I mean, yeah, but I, I don't know what it is. But that I guess... Was, yeah, I think it was just mostly like the, the blood. Yeah. Like the violent scenes had a lot of blood and that's probably what gave it its already and also the language in the movie. But yeah, I get what you're saying. It's like it didn't necessarily have to be. Rated R? Well, it's not even that. It has to be rated R, but it, it, comparing to rated R, mo- like going back to the reaction where people are saying, oh, this is oh, yeah, terrifying. Yeah, yeah. It's like, <laughs> what are it? you basing I mean, of? there was a great, I forgot what review. They said like, if you've seen a Quinn Tarantino movie, right. yeah, 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 you yeah. think this is terrifying. <laughs> then why you well, like, it's even more like, like earlier this year, John Wick 3 came out. <laughs> yes, and that's <laughs> way more like violent and gratuitous than anything that was in this movie. Yeah, but I think it's like sort of the uh, realism that this movie has at the end. Mm-hmm. Like the whole like talk shows and stuff. And right. Like, I think, yeah, yeah. There's th- that's true where there's like a, an application or a connection that can be made to certain people in society. And I guess the fear um, that was trying to be um, created around this movie was like, oh, people who are in society marginalized in this way are going to feel some type of connection to the Joker and they're going to want to start killing a bunch of people because they watch it. Yeah. That's that's true. But then even the way this movie ends, you kind of wonder, did this all really even happen? Yeah, like yeah, it yeah, kind of yeah. left in a point where you're just thinking to yourself, maybe this was just a joke with <laughs> his mind himself. And that's the thing. It's like a lot of those, a lot of that um, reaction happened before the movie even came out. So it's just like, a bunch of, you know, craziness where people are trying to manipulate the masses. And I think that, like, going back to where we started the conversation, that probably ended up affecting the box office mm. as far as um, people being interested to see all the hype that or like all the the, the talk controversy. that's controversy going on r- around this movie. Like, that's extra advertisement just yeah. having people on the news like cnn msnbc talking about this movie that oh we're scared that it's gonna uh, you yeah. know cause this react like that's it's kind of great that's, marketing tactic. it is exactly. it, it is exactly. a great marketing target so i actually do have kind of a, a small little question so let's just say hypothetically let's just say somehow this movie wins best picture for some reason like we just i don't know what it is probably won't happen it won't happen let's <laughs> just say randomly yeah, did yeah, yeah. if we took away walking phoenix and we took away all the whole reactiveness to the movie. Do you think it would deserve, would the movie deserve the praise it's getting by itself? Take away Walking Phoenix and all that? Because I feel like I kind of agree with most people here that Walking Phoenix does carry this movie more than any other thing. Like other actors. Yeah, so like, you're basically saying like the writing, the story, the everything else. Yeah. Besides. I mean, Walking okay, <laughs> to, be, to be fair, cinematography was also spot on too. So I'm not going to, I don't want to be too like, Specific. It's all about writing and yeah, everything. Yeah, yeah. There are some good aspects, but I feel like what really, really sold the movie, like what made the movie that I got emotionally connected was because this is was Joaquin Phoenix's performance, especially considering that he was in every scene, like every scene that was going through him. Right. So if we took away him out of it and then we took away this dark, whatever reaction people had, do you guys feel like it still would get the praise or it still deserves to be Oscar worthy based off its story alone? Or is it just because we happen to have good two elements there, that's why we're getting it's, you know. I think he's essential to to it. So if you take him away, it's it's not the same movie. Yeah, I would agree. I think that that I feel like this movie deserves more a best actor nomination or win, probably from Joaquin Phoenix than best best picture. Mm-hmm. Um because and then you know, yeah, like even even still, if like you put somebody else who's a fantastic actor into that spot and they do an equally good job, that doesn't necessarily, in my opinion, mean that this movie deserves a best picture because that that's saying that like an it, like as an overall project, this is the best film this year, mm-hmm. and I haven't seen all the films this year, but I wouldn't put Joker in that category for the reason that because for the reason that I feel like the movie's strength is Joaquin Phoenix's acting Mm -hmm. and I think that that's what carries the movie I think that like the director did a great job the every everybody did a great job in like making a movie around Joaquin Phoenix that worked but um 
at the end of the day, it's like it was his performance that captured me personally. Mm -hmm. And I don't think that if you take that away, it would be as great of a movie. So to bring it back, that, there's the cultural discussion and then the financial discussion around this movie. Um, I think that the when you talk about like whether or not it's overhyped and you bring up the fact that it made more profit in its first month than Endgame did in its first month, I think that's just... Um, I think... I, I don't know if you can say that that's an overhyper or not like that's a genuine reaction because when people spend their money on tickets that's a genuine like audience reaction it's like they at that point because this is a, a rated r super or not, no, not super, it was a rated r like comic book film and it's like in the billion dollar club as far as like movies is it in the billion dollars it's, it it, billion? it's 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 i'm pretty sure by the time we're talking about this or but before by the time we put this up it's gonna be a billion. it's close it's close <laughs> to a billion dollars um overall yeah and at that point like you're having people like myself who like <laughs> go back to watch it multiple times who like will you know bring their friends who will talk about it and will encourage other people to go watch it and so that's a genuine, you can't really fake numbers. You can't fake ticket prices or ticket ticket purchases. Yeah, like but like that. the thing is, you can also, you have to also think about like how it was marketed, why people are watching it and stuff like that. Right. I think that, I think that's legitimate. I think that it's a uh, real, I think it's real, like if it wasn't, if it, if it didn't have all of that, um, marketing or press around it would it have gotten the same reaction as far as finances probably not <laughs> I, 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 I say I absolutely I yeah we, it's it's i can't say for sure though because like okay so that opening weekend i think that opening weekend is like okay you can argue that those numbers like were highly heavily influenced by the news and the controversy around the film. But like after that opening weekend is gone, like one, two, three weeks is gone. And that movie is still making money. and It's still climbing to a billion dollars. At that point, it's just, it has to just be off the, the merits of the film itself. And that's like, in my opinion, anybody who's going to it for the controversy will have gone to it at the beginning. I'll agree with that. Okay. I, like I, word I, of mouth. And yeah. After, after the first week, it's it's word of mouth it's like repeat views and uh, that's what that's how i that's what i suspect is behind like its continued profit and climb and that's kind of what yeah that's that's what i think i will kind of say i mean to be honest i'm more likely to agree with what you said earlier i'll kind of say i would add an aspect to the fact that uh because when the, the second time i saw it was during halloween mm -hmm. which there was not many people there but the fact that it was still like Climbing. Elevate to the point of Halloween. I yeah. often feel like the fact that it was during that time period as well, where things are very like spooky and mysterious and stuff like that, mm -hmm. that also has a helpful aspect. But I will agree with you again that if it's been over two weeks, the hype is kind of dead. Yeah. So now at this point, it's like, you know. Yeah, it's it's just off like how good is the movie. Like if it was a bad movie, if people went to watch it and it was like the same controversy, same trailers, same everything, but it was a bad movie then it wouldn't be making this much money. Like, that's just the, the fact of the matter. So I guess the answer is no, it's not overhyped. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, it's more, so, it, it, I guess it depends I, on what yeah, you define overhype or it why depends, it's overhyped. It depends. I lean more towards the not overhyped, but I that's a, with a caveat that I understand how people can say it's overhyped. Yeah, I, I leave on the aspect that there's certain parts of it that could be overhyped, but then at the same time, it also, uh, there's aspects that it had its earned praise. So it's like, I think the reaction's overhyped. There we go. That's the right way to say it. I think the reaction's overhyped, but its uh, merits, its well, had it not have a bigger reaction, or it wouldn't have, if it didn't have this polarizing reaction, there we go, polarizing reaction, I would probably wouldn't be even bringing up this discussion, but because of the polarizing reaction and then the results of it, that's where this discussion came from. So I think that's where I would come down to.